Hey guys, it's David with The Verge, and we're here looking at the final build of Windows 8. Microsoft announced the RTM two weeks ago, and now it's available for developers and manufacturers to download. Uh, the changes at this point are small. It's mostly minor aesthetic changes. Uh, one of the cool ones is you can now go in and change the lock screen and start screen, and you get a lot more options than you used to get. Uh, the default one is kind of a funky picture of Seattle, but you can change it to a number of different things. And especially on a start screen, you get a bunch of wild options. It's simple and you get all these color options uh, and you can put really minimalist ones or really kind of wacky ones that just don't look good at all on your computer. But it's up to you, you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, the other big change is that the Aero Glass interface that we saw in Windows 7 is now gone. Uh, everything's been flattened and made a little more Metro style. Uh, and it all stays in line with the color scheme you picked for Metro, so it feels much more cohesive than it used to, and the taskbar and everything up here has been changed as well. Microsoft's continuing to develop some of the core Windows 8 apps like Bing and the News app, and even these aren't necessarily the final versions that we've seen, but you're getting much more of a sense of what they'll look like when they are final, from SkyDrive and Bing to Weather and Minesweeper, uh, and the Metro style looks pretty good across a lot of these apps. Speaking of apps, the store is now open. Uh, and it's now open for paid apps and free apps alike. Uh, it's just been out today, so there's not a lot of new apps out there, but some of the apps that we've seen, like NBC News or Minesweeper or Evernote, uh, they're starting to be developed more and more, and they, they're starting to look really good. And again, as metro as possible, and everything's very unified and looks really great. But that's it. That's the final version of Windows 8 that's going to be available to consumers on October 26th. Uh, even if you can access and download it now, I don't really recommend it just because Driver support and apps are still kind of lagging far behind where they need to be, but two months should be plenty of time for all that to get sorted out.